Period poverty, in my opinion, is the lack of resources, support, and education um, about menstruation in the community, and it's um, definitely perpetuated by cultural stigma. If you don't have access to knowledge that tells you what a period is or how to handle it, then you're impoverished in that sense. And then um, on the resources side, periods are expensive. So just having, knowing how to handle it and getting the resources to handle it is, if you don't have access to those, you're impoverished. Period poverty, I think, is a result of also how society has framed periods. Um, not only is it sort of shrouded in mystery and silence, but at the same time, it's an inevitable bodily process um, that is also deemed luxurious. And so we see this manifesting itself in a lot of different ways. Internationally, we see it that women oftentimes don't, especially in rural communities, don't have access to even just a store that would sell pads and tampons and don't or don't have a successful means of disposal for pads and tampons. And what this in turn results is it's oftentimes people using unsafe or unhygienic means to control their period or just staying home from school or staying home from their careers when they're not able to go to work due to their period. At even a national level, it might be that people live in communities where there are pads and tampons, but because of the price of them, seven, eight, nine dollars, they can't even afford to buy them. And so they're even there as a resource that people might not be able to get them or might have to ration them out month by month. And so what this can result in is things like people using um, sometimes ashes at an international level um, and putting that in their underwear to control their period, or even at a national level using things like paper towels or toilet paper, which have been proven to cause infections. And so it creates this problem, this medical problem, and also this further stigmatization that you can't even control your body due to a level of an access that creates even worse psychological feelings around poverty, but then also can create medical conditions like infections. I, I've gotten to the point before where it's like, well, I guess I'm using paper towels right now, or like, I guess like it's just happened and it's uncomfortable and awkward. And so like, just to have to like, know that like you're going into a bathroom and you're gonna have to ask a random stranger, like, hey, like, do you have X, Y, Z? Like, that's super weird. I've been places where like, if they have like free ones, I'll be like, well, maybe I'll take a couple because I don't know. Like, and that just, it just depends on the situation that I've been in. And like, now I have to think about the fact like my mom has now gone through menopause. And so I'm staying in their house right now with this whole coronavirus nonsense to help them out with some stuff. And so I have to be like very aware of like what I have in the house and like whether I need to get more and stuff like that, which is like something that I typically like when I would be at my parents' house, it wouldn't matter because my mom menstruated and now she doesn't. And now it's like, oh, this is now my entire responsibility, which it is when I live by myself too. But for some reason, it just seems like way more of a burden now um because like i'm in a situation where it normally wouldn't be a stressor and now it is period poverty leads into all these issues that i've researched and written about like the fact that low-wage workers get discriminated in the workplace for menstruating they get fired because they show up late because they had an unexpected period or their pain isn't being accommodated under the disability law or they get harassed at work because they bled through their clothes so period poverty can also include the fact that you lose your job and you cannot afford to support your family uh, because of menstrual discrimination. Essentially, period poverty is what's ever keeping folks from not having a comfortable and um, safe, healthy menstrual experience.